And you probably don't want to keep your writing white, so. <laughs> Can't even change the color now. Oh, it's okay. Black. Just so you'll be able to see. Everything. Okay, maybe not that. Okay. Now, what's next? Oh. Here's something. Okay, now that this picture is done, copy. Just paste it. And if it is too big, just go to resize and skew. I just do 80 because it goes by percents. And just still a little too big, so do another 80. And just flip it horizontal. and try and get it to line right on the border so that it looks like it's standing on it. And then just... Probably don't want to see those little dots. Those are very annoying. And save. And there you go, you have a picture in there. So that is pretty much how you make your own YouTube background. And I will still say how to do some like kind of interesting things. So I'm not done yet, so just bear with me. And now I'll show you how to put a picture on with color if you want color in it just put a border around it so then it looks like a picture so except for black because you don't want to have a black picture with a black border so um let's see that's a stupid picture too yeah so it looks pretty cool You could just hit view image, it will load faster, but my internet is like die slow, so we're gonna speed this part up. Okay, now that I'm back to normal speed, a picture with color. Paste. It's freakishly large, so. So 50 is just cutting it half the size. Mm. 
and I'll show you how to put a border on, even though it's like very simple, but just if you want to know. Okay. So just pick the size of border you want and then just go with black. It doesn't have to be black, it can be whatever color you want. But I like black because it's very simple and covers it up. And it's kind of annoying trying to get it right on the edge. And that is pretty much how you make a border picture. <laughs> Very simple. But it does look good, because then it makes it look like it's a picture frame. And then, this is a little too big still, so... And it's way too big for the outside, so... Like... Go to my original page. Hey! Okay, this is taking photo. So, let's go with that. This is not loading, so go back to here. Oh, and this page, this was actually very simple to make, because it was black, but the bad thing is you had to have the pictures with only black backgrounds, and the splatter thing, just get red, black splatter, that's how I got those, and black backgrounds, and then just white splatter with black, and then it just went with it, and you just had to measure, but I can show you how to do a more colorful one if you don't want a white, because I can understand if that's pretty boring, but for now I'll show you how I make mine. What to say? So then. And then see, if it's still too big, then just keep making it smaller, but it might be fuzzy, so you want to go back to the original picture. <coughs> and then just re it once, because the more and more you do it, the weirder the picture will look. See? That looks a lot clearer. So the more you re it, the more fuzzy it will get, so you want to try and guess um, the size, so... That looks about a hundred times better than that because that's all squarey, but this is still like perfect, just smaller. And then just keep scooting it over, and that is how you have a picture with color on a white thing. So it's very simple. It's just very time consuming. It's the very annoying thing. 
So if you have any questions, please don't worry about asking because I will answer any you have and I will probably make a video showing you how to do it. So if you have any questions, ask me and that is how you make your own YouTube background on paint. It's very simple, just a lot of moving, a lot of saving, and then, you know, just have to estimate, and then once you have one down, guys, hurry up and load, because this is exactly the same. So then you just line it up, and then just keep moving it over if it's too short or too long, and just add pictures. This is being super slow for some reason. And then you can end up with a picture of YouTube looking like this. This took me about two days and I was very bored so this was actually pretty fun to make. So in that, how to get comments you just go to the comment, drag it over, comment in it, and then just leave it and then crop it. And I like it making it seem like they're standing on things. See like is it loaded? Okay. Now she is standing stupid thing. Now she's standing there. I had to freaking move her up and down a lot to make it look like she was standing on that. But yeah, so this is what it looks like when Bam. Bam. So it's not that hard to make. Just time. That's it. And I would love to see if you have made any. Tell me and I will look at your page. And feel free to tell me how it went. Oh, and this is just a little thing that I used to record this, so if you're wondering what this, if you want to record your screen, I will leave this in the info, so I hope this helped you, and that is it.